How far out are the planets and stars in outer space? How do people measure cosmic distances? Astronomers use an array of devices and methods, including radar, which calculates distances to objects in our solar system by measuring the time it takes for electromagnetic waves sent from a radio dish to reflect back to Earth. LIDAR, which shoots bright laser light through a telescope to mirrors placed on the moon by Apollo astronauts, and measures bounce back time to calculate the distance to the moon within inches. And GPS, global position satellites with atomic clocks, which triangulate and calculate the bounce back time of signals from three satellites to a receiver. All of these are advanced 21st century technology based on an ancient fundamental concept used by star charters in Babylon, pyramid builders in Egypt, map makers in Greece, surveyors in Rome, and mathematicians in India. That concept, trigonometry, the study of triangles. Trigon comes from the Greek meaning three angles. Metri comes from the Greek word for measure. Mathematicians had already realized that the three sides of a right triangle have a fixed relationship that was known long before the Greek mathematician Pythagoras proved the Pythagorean theorem around 500 BCE. If one knew the length of at least one side of a right triangle and the measure of at least one other angle, one could figure out the lengths of the other two sides. How to apply triangle measurements to the stars in the heavens? Even the earliest humans had realized that objects in the night sky appeared to move. Astronomers began to chart where a visible star was in the sky at the start of the year and where it appeared to be in the sky six months later. Those two points, plus the point on Earth where those observations were made, formed a triangle. Measuring the angle of the star's movement in six months, astronomers could use trigonometry to calculate its distance from Earth. So how to calculate great distances? Take sides, know the angles, and use trig for good measure.